So NBA 2K17, my team, hasn't even been out for a week yet. And you guys are going to be absolutely shocked with how much MT I've got. I'm about to show it very soon. And let's just show it now. Bam. So 247,000 MT. I've also got this duplicate Steph that I sniped just sitting here ready to be sold. And I've also got this Kawhi Leonard, which is 10K that needs to be sold. If, and if we added those two together, then that's 30K more, so 280,000 pretty much. And now the real question is, how did you do it? So I'm gonna show you how I did it in this video. As much as you're gonna hate this, it's basically just grinding, but it's more to that. And that's the thing. It's not just completing domination. I'll tell you what else you have to do to actually get that amount of MT. So you can see, in normal domination, you've got 33 games. So all of these games, you have to complete them all to unlock the historic domination. And you also just have to complete them all. You don't even have to get three stars on every single one, but I really recommend it to get the Amethyst player. And every single time you get three stars, you will get a player from this team. So this can consist of, I don't know, like in this one here, this can consist of CP3, but not usually. I only got one gold and didn't get an emerald out of all of these until the final three packs when I did get emeralds. Now that's pretty bad, but when you think about it, if those gold players, those 78 overall gold players are going for about a thousand MT and you get about a thousand MT for playing the game, add one and one and that's 2000, 2000 MT per game, times that by 33 games in regular domination. That's 66,000 MT. And in my terms, I only had 8,000 MT when I completed regular domination, and then I got 240,000 when I completed historic domination. So you can see it's all completed here. I've completed every single one. And basically what I'd do is I'd get maybe 6,000 MT per game on all of these. So 6,000 times 33, I'm getting the calculator, is 198,000 MT guaranteed. Now I did that earlier, that's the thing. I did it a little bit earlier than all of you guys. I grinded and I knew I had to because I wanted the MT fast. So that's how much minimum I got for doing this whole domination. And that was because I pulled so many Emerald players, like pretty much every pack after about the fifth game I played, I got an Emerald. Maybe about four or five of them weren't emerald, which is just insane because emeralds went for so much more. And now we've got a few emerald players up now, and these ones are the historic emeralds. Now this is a 4,600, so that's basically the minimum you can get. I don't think people, are, these are all gonna sell, I can guarantee that, but 4,600 plus the, fi plus the 1,000, that's 5,600 MT per game. And for you guys, that would be 184,000 MT. And that's just from the historic domination. Then add the 66,000 from the regular domination. And you've got 250,000 MT. Like, that is just insane. Thank you 2K for doing this. I did this last year as well in 2K16. And it made me so much MT. Exactly the same way. I could not tell you anymore to just sell all your players when you finish it. Because they do sell. And that's the way you get MT. You just got to think. Even just 3,000 MT per game is a lot. So yeah, that's basically how I got all my MT, about 280,000 with all the cards and everything that I can sell. And if you guys need help on how to do domination, I did a tips video which will be linked up here right now and also in the description. So make sure to check it out if you need any help on that. And thank you guys for watching. I'd really appreciate a like on this video. And yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.